Here we're just being asked to simplify, and we need to use the power power to power rule and uh, the product rule with positive exponents. So the first thing we're going to do is our power to power. We notice this is a product of two parts. If everything here in parentheses was x and everything in here in parentheses was y, we would just have x squared times y. But we have all of this inside of the parentheses that needs to get raised to the second power. And remember, what this means is it literally means that we are multiplying everything inside the parentheses times itself two times. So we could rewrite this as 3x to the third y to the fourth z squared times 3x to the third y to the fourth z squared. That's what it means. So the product or the power to power rule can simplify it instead of having to go through all this we just distribute that exponent of 2 to all the exponents on the inside. Remember if it doesn't show an exponent such as this 3 it's an implied exponent of 1 because there is 1 3. So with the the power to power rule we would distribute this 2 to the 1, to the 3, to the 4, and to the 2. It gets distributed to all of those exponents and when we say distribution we imply multiplication. So we could rewrite this as 3 to the 1 times 2 which is 3 squared x to the 3 times 2 which is x to the 6th, y to the 4 times 2 which is y to the 8th, and z to the 2 times 2 which is z to the 4th. So this first term here becomes this and then we still are multiplying it by this second part 2x squared z to the 3rd. And if we want to make this even simpler because now we're just dealing with product rule when we're multiplying like bases we add our exponents to make it a little easier to see I'm gonna div I'm gonna um, separate this out well 3 squared is just 9 we're saying 9 times x squared x to the sixth times y to the eighth times z to the fourth We'll put our little multiplication times 2 times x squared times z to the third. Now we understand that when we are multiplying real numbers it follows the commutative property. So the commutative property of multiplication of real numbers says that we can rearrange these terms in any order we want because 3 times 2 is the same thing as 2 times 3. It doesn't matter which order, we'll get the same product. So I'd like to rearrange these to where it's a little easier to see. I'm going to, I'm going to look at my constants. I'm going to rearrange it. So 9 times, instead of the 2 being way over here, we'll put these together. 9 times 2. Then I'll put my x's together times x to the 6 times x squared. And then we only have one y, so times y to the 8th. And then z to the 4th and z to the 3rd times z to the 4th times z to the 3rd. And now we just have to resolve this. Well, 9 times 2 is just 18. And then our product rule comes into play. x to the 6 times x squared. When we have like bases and we're multiplying them, we add our exponent 6 plus 2 is 8. We only have one y, so that stays the same. And then z to the 4th times z to the 3rd, 4 plus 3 is 7. And this is our final answer.